like my beard is a bit too much in the picture. Anyway, I left. Um, all my stuff is in the back. So now I had no way to put my camera in a better position. Let's get to the point. I. For the first time, I'm alone in the car. It's Monday morning. Then I uh, started driving on Saturday morning to Hamburg, actually from Amsterdam. I'm in the Jaguar I Pace again, uh, and I've seen lots of rain, but right now still cloudy. 19 degrees it's not even 10 a.m. yet and I'm heading to visit a friend in Halmstad in Sweden it's actually the first time that I'm on Swedish soil but I didn't get out of the car yet so it's still a bit like a dream Yeah, so yesterday was quite entertaining in Denmark for a big part thanks to uh, my blah blah car passengers I had a guy from uh, Pakistan on board and some Germans and we we dropped the Germans off in a little village where a sailing regatta would start I think today so there were all these classic sailing ships, the one, uh, the German boat that these guys entered was from the 19th century, late 1800s. Very pretty and um, yeah, very kind people that treated us on alcohol-free beer because we still had to continue uh, the Pakistani guy and uh, I would continue until uh, Copenhagen yesterday so yeah we crossed the Big Belt Bridge it was my third crossing actually because in January I went back and forth to Copenhagen for the first time so that was my first visit to Denmark now it's the first time in Sweden I guess I really have to uh, figure out a way to get to Norway next time because yeah Norway is the country of electric cars at least in Europe right now uh, even more so than the Netherlands much more actually Yesterday in Denmark, I met a couple of Swedish EVs on the on the road. I wanted to say, but mainly when charging. Uh, so many people from Norway are actually traveling south to Denmark. Also, this week I spotted my first, or at least my first in a long time. Uh, Tesla, well definitely the first Model 3 that came all the way from Norway to Amsterdam. So that was nice. I had to check inside to see if Tesla Björn was in there. But it wasn't the case. Still I'm glad to see that uh, yeah, people are using the Model 3 for what it's uh, made to do very well, which is long road trips. Although I haven't tried it myself, but yeah, it charges so fast that I feel like this is the ultimate road trip car. Although the seats, I really wonder about the seats of the Model 3, like how good can they be or are they good enough to do a long road trip in. Like already these Jaguar seats, I wish I could show you, but then I would do illegal stuff, so let's know it. Let, Let's not right now, but I mean, yeah, this is. I'm driving a very simple version of the iPace, and 
Yeah, the chairs are not, the seats, they're not anything special, I would say. Even though it's probably faux leather and well, at least they're black and they're comfortable. But yeah, if you drive a Mercedes that costs the same as this car, then the seats would be better. Um, and also if you drive a more expensive Jag, you could get cooled seats, for example, which in summer is actually very convenient. I, I had one or two I-Paces that had cooled seats. Big disadvantage though is that when you have the cooled seats in the rental car, uh, this will obviously always mean that they gave you the premium version, so that would be the HSE. I don't know what it stands for actually, but yeah, it costs more than a hundred thousand euros or about that price in the Netherlands. And, uh, it's just crazy and the thing is that it's also not a great idea because you will get at least 20 inch wheels um, sometimes 22 I think that's an option so on the rental probably won't be 22 actually but even even the, these 20 inch wheels they're just too big uh, for your consumption will be very uh, negative negative so the thing is that right now I mean my chair I, I lack all of these buttons like I have a great profile picture even that has all of these beautiful buttons uh, that you can yeah you, you can even adjust this uh, bar that will sit under your knee and extend the chair in a way well, the cheaper versions don't do that kind of stuff. The thing is though, that what the cheap version does, so this is the S version, very, uh, yeah, very basic, I would say, but it has the pano roof, so that's pretty much all I really need. Um, it lacks the Meridian surround system, but I mean, this system is still very powerful. Just yesterday, this blah blah car passenger was enjoying maximum. No, that was before yesterday, actually. To Humber. This blah blah car passenger was enjoying the full volume when we were charging up at Fastnet in uh, Melle near uh, Osnabrück. And we were just blasting the whole parking space, which uh, I felt. I was a young guy, so I, I let him play because there weren't many people at this hotel parking spot, luckily for us. And the weather was beautiful, so I mean, it was a good moment. Anyway, to get back on the subject, this S version has 18 inch wheels. And 18 inch wheels, let me tell you, is fantastic on the I-Pace, because you can actually, yeah, you can do more than 300 kilometers on a charge pretty easily with summer weather uh, and yeah depending if you don't go on the highway you can do much more even but yeah I don't know how many people will do holiday trips outside of the highway but you should you should anyway so I've got uh, another hundred kilometers to go I've got 200 kilometers um, range left and I've got this one, the Dutch charging card from Nuon and the uh, Nuon electricity company in the Netherlands was bought by Vattenfall, which I think is from Sweden. Um, so I am really curious if this charging card will actually serve me because I made it to the home country of the mother company of the Dutch company that I've got the charging card from, if you still understand. And this charging card I got from the rental company, Sixth, where I got the Jaguar. You still follow? So I'm gonna try the charging card soon-ish, thinking 40 kilometers. I'll tell you more about it. I'll find my um, 
my thingy to connect this phone to the vent shaft later so you can look at something else than my beard I'm still following a Porsche 911 that's driving very relaxed um, I guess everything in this country is just relaxed which is good because what we need in life is relaxation maybe he doesn't like the fact that I'm following him because he's just not passing the truck that we are behind but this is very economic he doesn't know that I'm driving an EV perhaps maybe he does I don't know if you see the Jaguar from the front then you look at a normal car like there's no there's no logic behind thinking that this uh, would be an electric car if you look at the front um, yeah even yeah I mean if you look at the back you might still not understand but if you look at the front then nothing will ah I'm glad that they actually show you that there's an Eon charging point at this uh, gas station so even though I'm in Sweden which is not very EV friendly yet I believe there's a sign telling us that we can charge up the car next to the highway so while I continue my drive one hour left to Halmstad I will keep you posted uh, what's going on in Sweden because now I will find out all there is to know about fast charging the Jaguar in Sweden of course I watched all these Tesla Björn videos so I've seen I've seen some of it uh, I don't know why everybody was breaking suddenly but I have no idea if, if Waze is very popular here, so are there any speed cams? Will Waze tell me? I don't know these things because I've never been here before. And I will not stay too long because this car needs to be back on Saturday in Amsterdam. It's Monday now. Right now I'm completely free. Glad to be here. Weather should be better tomorrow, so then it will be time for a swim. I'm still 240 kilometers from Göteborg, but I'm not going there. 97 kilometers from Halmstad, one hour to go. I think the charger is pretty close, so I need to look at my navigation. I'll see you later.